Hey y'all, it's the costume jeweler and guess where I am? A thrift store in Dallas. One of my favorites, the Salvation Army. Today is half off. We're gonna go in here and look for things to pack up for a resale on YouTube and eBay. So hit that notification bell, click all. Subscribe to the channel, like and share with your friends. We're on that road to 10,000 subscribers. Thank y'all so much. Come check out some live buy it nows of purses and jewelry that I have on my channel. I'm gonna be in Texas for about two weeks and I do plan to have several sales. So let's go in here, it's late in the day. Let's go in here and see if there's anything left over. I don't know if there is or not. Not after half off. So this store is huge. Color coded, very pretty. But today is half off. Don't know if we're gonna find anything or not, but we're sure gonna try. Look at the little knick-knacky stuff a little bit first. Maybe I can find something. I don't think I need anything else for the Airbnb, but you never know what something cute you might find. We're really in here for the purses and jewelry. But I just love how they color code everything in here. It's a beautiful store. A beautiful store. Are these glass? They're not. They're acrylic. I miss y'all. And you know the games, you know how we do out there. We got lots of games. That game closet is packed full. Look at all that jewelry. So we have lots of jewelry to choose from today, even though it's half off. And people have not been in, I mean, I'm sure people have been in here. Peter Rabbit, Wedgwood, made in England. This is a cute clock. What do you think about this? Super cute clock. Look at this. That is hilarious. I love that. That'd be cute at the farm. But you can see there's just tons of stuff. Tons of stuff. What is this cute pumpkin? $3.99. I am not going to carry that back to Florida. I am not. Okay, let me go see what this sign is. I don't know if that's a vintage sign or not. Love that, so true. So just so y'all know, this is the sign that I was talking about that I wanted to come and look and see what it says. What I like about this sign is it looks very vintage and I think it'd be great at the Airbnb to have a few pieces of things. Home decor, when it comes like December, you don't know who you're gonna be renting to that may be renting out there in December. And so to have a little bit of festive um, signage might be great. I do have some festive coffee mugs and things like that. But I do think that that'd be cute out there. It looks vintage for sure. So we're going to get it. Five dollars. I've never checked out their game section in this store before. Always just the purses and jewelry, and we're getting to those purses and jewelry. I haven't forgot about it. That's what I love to sell. So that's what we're in here looking for. But right now we're looking at the what naughty do daddy, rink -a dink stuff. But yeah, hit that hit that notification bell and click all. I love to thrift for resale. But I thrift purses and jewelry. This was made in Italy. Look how cute that is. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Look how rusty that is. This is old. I'm going to get that too. I love that. I don't know if I'll hang that in the farmhouse. Or if I will hang that at my house. That's super unique. Not that the Airbnb is not fully stocked already. You know, can you really have too many whatnots? I don't know. I am not sure that I would say you can ever have too much stuff. Look at this cute picture made in Italy. Zoom in on it so you can see it. Maybe you ladies and gentlemen have heard of this before. I have not. Handmade in Italy. It's cute.
and sold at Marshalls. Look at that! Look at that! Love that! That was sold at Marshalls. Made in Japan. Super cute. See, uh, as far as that Christmas sign, what I've done is started collecting just a few things to put out in the Airbnb during the hot different holidays. So that kind of makes it a little bit festive, but not overdo it. What a beautiful plate. These look to be vintage milk glass plates. These are from teacups, not teacups, um, teacup saucer, I guess. Coffee cup saucer. Probably hand painted. $1.99 each, aren't those cute? So without further ado, we are going to start looking at the purses and the jewelries. I love my jewelry. I would probably describe this sometimes as Dallas's probably biggest purse and jewelry thrift store. Ooh, look at that leather bag right there. Let me see if I can zoom in enough. To... That's a cute leather bag. I need to see what brand that is. I'm going to check that out. It has tassels. There's a coach on the end. It looks like a coach. It is not a coach. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know what that is, but we're going to check that out too. Look at the emblem right there. I don't know what that is. And down here at the bottom, what is this snake skin? That's a Michael Kors snake skin. Oh my gosh. So we're going to look at some jewelry and see what they've got, if anything. I'm hoping that they've got some good stuff left. Hoping they've got some stuff left for us. Love these earrings. I think that bracelet's nice also. We may take a look at those. And look at all that. Still tons of more purses. I wonder what this one is. Oh, I love this necklace so much. Look how beautiful this is. Look. Look at that. Now that right there is knock yourself out. That is stunning. Wow. I see some earrings back here that I want to look at right there in the center at the top. The gold looks like a feather maybe with some stone. Definitely getting this one. So I'm thinking that ring might be amber. I did not bring my light with me, but I'll order one on Amazon and check it out. But I think that that ring you just saw might be amber. At least it looks like amber, but we're gonna have to check it out and see. I love this necklace right here too. It's fall colors. I'm wondering if it's glass. Look at these beauties, beauty patooties, cutie patooties. We are getting those cutie patooties. I love that. Love it so much. Look at that, ladies. Is that not gorgeous? Look at that shimmer and shine, shake and shimmy. Wow. So I'll take this one. And I found the matching earrings to that necklace. Look at that. We are getting those too. We are getting those too. Look at how beautiful that is. Wow. Texas does it up every time. I'm telling you, they do it up big. I'm not sure if Texas thrift stores ever disappoint me. But you've got to look careful through all this because you see all of this stuff. There's so much jewelry. 
I see some earrings back there that look like they're a shell and they're, and they're right back here, right, where's my finger? Right there. Looks like shell right there and I'm not sure what the carving is, but I'm gonna probably get those and I see some flip-flop earrings, I like those. If there's anything else spot, I'll probably be gone and I'll miss it. So these are the ones I'm talking about. These are made out of look like mother of pearl. Let's look how beautiful those are, like mother of pearl. You will see those up for sale this trip for sure. And there's the back of one of them. I'll take these also. Now we're looking on the bottom shelf together. So when you ladies and gentlemen thrift with me, I hope that you feel like you are thrifting with me because you are, you really are. If I don't find anything, you don't either. If I don't find anything, you don't either. What is the shell? I'm talking about this right here. I don't know what that is. And then these huge earrings. They're wood. Looks like wood. I could probably use those for my Halloween hat. I don't think I'm missing anything else on this side. If I am, comment below. Let's see if I can find it. I'll take a look at the owl necklace. I'll take this one. Usually this shelf is sterling. I am not, I don't know if I'm seeing any sterling or not. Here's a, looks like a Victorian look back here. Maybe some sort of Victorian brooch. I do have one that didn't sell for me, but I don't care. I will still buy it again. There's another brooch right back here that you can't see very well. That one. I'm gonna check that out too. I'm telling you, if you'd been here early this morning, there was probably more to choose from. Day late and a dollar short. Cute, but needs repaired. You see right there where the chain needs to be glued back in. This to me looks Victorian. It's not Mark Sterling or anything, but this would be one that I would have to test before I tried to sell it. There's not Marcusites in there like another one that I have, but look at that. So it's not Mark Sterling or anything, but I'm still gonna get that one. I like it. Looking at the clasp though, it does not appear to be Victorian, usually the Victorian clasp or C clasp. This one does not, but it doesn't matter. It's still beautiful and going home with me. About an inch diameter, but we're gonna get that. That's too pretty not to get. Still, you know, there's not as much jewelry as they usually have, but there's still stuff here that I'm packing up to resell on YouTube and eBay. Jewelry I sell on YouTube, guys, if you're new to the channel. So I have a lot of live sales. You wanna hit that notification bell. You wanna click all, so you don't miss out on those live buy it nows and auctions. They're a lot of fun and we have a lot of great jewelry. What is this crazy shoe here? I don't know what M1 that is. I thought at first it was like the Mavericks, but it may not be, I don't know. So these are all their shoes that are fancy shoes. What is that fancy necklace right there? I don't know if that's kind of liking it. Don't know why these are hanging in here, but they are hanging out. Look at these red Crocs. Oh my gosh. Now if those could fit me, I would wear those as part of costume, but that is probably about a size 12. I love red, I love crocodiles. So that is not gonna fit me. That is too bad. And we haven't even gotten to those purses here in the center case. Not marked. It does not matter. That is beautiful. And we're gonna get this too, so this is a torque necklace. Real pearls. And we love red. super different. This has real pearls, then you have glass beads, looks like an eyeball, and then you have a hot chili pepper. 
We are getting that one. That is too cool to leave behind. And you ladies know these red ones are going home with me. These are these are clip-ons and they are gorgeous and they are glass. Look at that. Wow. Wow, wow. Let's get up close and personal with this one. Look at that. Prong set. Aren't those gorgeous? You ladies will love to see these in a sale, a Texas sale this trip, won't you? These are awesome. They're probably about one and one half inch diameter. There's the back. So we're looking. We're looking, 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 looking. What are we going to find? I don't know, but it's hot. Ooh. Oh my gosh. See this right here? That may be coins, and I love to get coin necklaces. Just so you know, too, when I have sales, I usually have giveaways. Those giveaways are based on a question I asked from a previous video, and it could be anything. I could say, what, what piece of jewelry do I like a lot? Coin jewelry, something like that. So you all want to pay attention to these videos for sure, because there'll, there'll be clues dropped for future giveaways. Clues dropped for future giveaways, I promise. This right here is super expensive, and it's a um, great shape. I'm not sure if it's sterling or not, though. I'm not sure what kind of stone that is. Give you an up-close of it. Beautifully made. Looks kind of like wood, but it feels like stone. Look at all this beautiful gold jewelry. Gold-toned. It's not gold. It's gold-toned. But beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. These are definitely fall. Looks like grass in between. Looks like leaves to me, but it's very fall. I love those. Those are probably about two inches long. Avon sailboat brooch. That's cute. Those are pretty gold tone. For some reason, I'm really liking these green enamel gold tone earrings. Uh, those are definitely some fall colors. I like those a lot. I think we're going to get those. I think we're going to peck those up. I think we're going to peck them up, guys. Unsigned beauties. So there's some other stuff I'm going to look at in here as well. We're not done yet. We are not done yet. What is that big beauty right there? There's one right back here that I want to take a look at. I love this bracelet. Never heard of the brand before. If you guys know, comment. It's like kind of a silk pot symbol. Yes, ma'am. So this has matching earrings. Okay, and when you're done, I need... White House Black Market brand. That's beautiful. Look at the Lariat. I'll take this one. So I do YouTube videos, then I read. So this looks to be gold filled. Looks to be gold filled. The chain does. So I'd have to test it and see. But I'm going to get this one anyway. We may sell that in the Texas sale. I love that. So, guys, this is a Michael Kors snake skin. Probably faux snake skin. It feels like it's real, though. Uh, I don't know. We're going to check out the inside and see what this beauty, big bad boy. See if this yeah. big bad boy is going to be sold in the Texas sale. What do y'all think? Everything's bigger in Texas, including these Michael Kors purses. Certainly, everything is bigger in Texas, including Michael Kors purses. Look how gorgeous. Look up close. Look at that. And the inside, guys, looks like new. Okay, I take that back. There's an ink stain in here. Still can be cleaned up. This is a great purse. I'm getting this one. We're going to get this and resell this thing on, on YouTube Live Sale, Texas Live Sale, where everything is bigger in Texas. I just don't know what this purse is. Oh, my gosh. Let's see if there's a mark in here. 
It tells us something. I don't know. What is this? It's gorgeous though, bucket bag. It's like a sling uh, strap, shoulder strap. So it's not a backpack. If y'all know what this is, comment below, because I sure don't. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Look at that. Wow, 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 to the wow, wow, wow. And I think they call these wedding cake beads. I'm not sure, but I think so. We're gonna get that too. So these are going home. This baby right here is going home too. And then we have a whole bag of jewelry. A whole bag of jewelry. Super vintage Dooney burgundy wine color Bordeaux. Talbot's beaded right. necklace. So like 9800 that's fantastic it is beautiful stretch bracelet you can wear at christmas i think we're gonna get that look at that pretty bracelet here that's all looks like amethyst i'll get that too so guys about the time i thought i was gonna leave the jewelry counter we've got this tory birch I'll zoom in on it. We are going to buy it. it. Has a little bit of stuff on the inside, so it's all leather. I'm gonna show you the inside. So it's just been used, but we are getting it. So that's an awesome haul on purses. We got lots of jewelry. We got a Michael Kors, <clears throat> a Tory Burch, and what was the other one? A vintage Dooney. Now we're gonna go back here and look at the purses on the wall. Oh, and I got this stuff here, which you saw. Some home decor. Yes, ma'am. You bet. CJ's always pulling the home decor, ladies. Y'all know that. You know that. So Dallas does it up big again. Dallas did it big again. What is this big old beauty? I love leather bags. If they're leather. If they're actually leather, that is. Don't trick me. Do not trick me. Sack roots. Is this another sack roots? Tory Birch. I've never found a Tory Birch purse before. That's the first for me. But the inside needs to be cleaned up a little bit, but I still think it's going to sell. I think it's going to sell pretty quick. Huh. So. We're trying to look. What is this? Now that looks like leather not branded has someone's initials and then we have this beauty what is this so i'm excited about the tory birch that was probably my favorite purse from this store so that's it for this store guys don't forget to hit that thumbs up for this video subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell and click all so you're notified of all of my live buy nows and auctions of purses and jewelry we're gonna head on now to the next thrift. I think that amber ring is real. I'm not sure, I wanna check it out. My favorite thing, and this is a hint, because anything in future sales is a fair game for a giveaway. So usually when I have a giveaway of a purse or jewelry, I will ask you a question from a past video to see who gets the right answer first. But I will tell you this, that the Tory Burch is my favorite purse out of all three that I bought. And we are headed out. See y'all later.